Okay, this is truly strange filming this video. I probably haven't filmed a video in a little bit. It's actually kind of funny. I know I say I haven't filmed, but I film videos and I just don't post them or edit them. I just film them when I'm bored some days and when I just want to film. Um, but I just don't post them anymore, which is so strange to me. So we'll see if this video makes the cut. Hopefully it does because I have missed YouTube so, so much. Um, a lot has changed in my life. Okay, my dog is like all up in this. <laughs> um, so if you see him, that's what's going on. My life has changed so much in the past month, in the past couple years, since I posted consistently on YouTube. Obviously, we were in the middle of a pandemic, coronavirus, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and that's kind of when I really stopped filming. I just was not myself during that time. And so I just stopped and I haven't been consistent ever since. I feel like I don't need a super long explanation, but like I said, I just kind of film when I feel like it. And if I don't post videos, I don't post them. But if I do film them and they make the cut, like hopefully this one makes the cut. Hopefully I like the way I edit it and the way everything looks, then awesome. I'm actually going to throw my dog into the other room. If the quick. angle changed. I'm sorry. It's because I just put my dog in the other room. But I was saying, I just personally like... I am such a different person and the things I enjoy and the things I love now ha are not makeup. Um, I'm actually in my old makeup room, which is weird to say my old makeup room. Um, I got rid of all of my makeup during this last like COVID coronavirus shutdown. I got rid of all of it. I just have like a little Louis Vuitton um, makeup case and that has all my makeup. I don't even know if you guys can tell. I hardly wear makeup anymore. I mainly just wear um moisturizer cc cream cream blush cream bronzer eyebrows mascara spray and go so maybe i'll do like a little updated video on that if you're interested um but today i just wanted to film a fun little ulta haul i feel like i haven't been makeup shopping in so long because like i said i don't really wear makeup anymore um so yeah i went to ulta today spent some coin and i thought you know what why not sit down and film a video and see what comes of this so if you are new hello my name is Sophia if you stumbled across this video welcome please subscribe hopefully I can make some consistent content here hopefully I can get my Instagram back to being consistent we shall see though who knows what the future holds but if you aren't new hi hello how are you I've missed you I've missed your faces I've missed talking to you I've missed interacting with you I've missed posting for you but you know you girl went through some SHIT. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, I went to Ulta. I don't even know if you guys can tell. I don't, like, I don't even know what this is gonna look like when I'm back editing, but I did my hair different. I got a crimper, okay? I got a freaking crimper. Um, I had like the big wavy one, but I actually, this is in my room. I'll like show you guys though. This is the Your Hair, Your Wavy. This is the um, bedhead one. Let me pull it up here on my Ulta app, which by the way, I'll show you guys on the receipt. I thought that I had a 20% off one item. No, my entire order was 20% off, which I had no idea, um, which when it happened, I was like, oh my God, like why didn't I buy, why didn't I buy more? You know that feeling, that sick feeling you get when you're just like, I should have bought more as I didn't know. So this is the A Wave We Go Adjustable Hair Waver. This is what it looks like. Everything will be linked down below. This video is not sponsored by any means, but I probably will do like to know it links. So if you shop through my link, I will make a small commission, which thank you guys for always supporting me. Um, but this is what it looks like. I chose this one because you can adjust the barrel to make it tighter or looser depending. And like you can see, I did like the tighter one. It's actually tamed down quite a bit. Right when I did it, it was like, and I was like, oh, S-H-I-T, no way. Um, but I actually kind of like it. It's kind of a vibe, kind of grungy. Got my flannel on for fall and it looks pretty cute, pretty cute. So next up, I got the Pro Flex Dry Paddle Wet Brush. Okay, if I had a freaking dollar for every time I snapped one of these, I'd probably be a millionaire by now. 
Um, these are the best brushes ever though. They are so amazing. They dry your hair very quickly. They keep them locked down and flat and they're just the best. They have a lot of bend, but like I said, this little part here does break pretty easy. Keep in mind, I have super long, thick hair and I have a lot of it so that also might be a reason why they break but I just I love this brush and I thought that I would get another one because the one I'm using doesn't have a handle so it's really hard to brush my hair so this is the wet dry brush and then I actually haven't bought these in a really long time but I thought you know what why not these are the makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena I used to love these when I had my makeup vanity and I just needed like a quick quick little wipe down of something and I find myself washing my hands so 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 much when I'm like doing my makeup because I use my hands for a lot of putting on my makeup now um, which I used to use tools before but now I just use my hands um, so these I decided to pick up because my hands have been drying out and I just thought this would be a nice little pickup so I got those and now on to the fun stuff so I'm gonna start with this because OMG, wow. Okay, I love Mugler perfumes. I love Angel. I have Alien and Angel. And I also have the Alien Flower. So, when I saw this display, first of all, the display is freaking stunning in Ulta. If your Ulta is open, I highly recommend you smell this in person. It is incredible. It really reminds me of like a um, Dream Angels heavenly like a scent like that but like a million times better like it smells so good it smells like sex honestly it smells like sex it smells so good i'm obsessed with it um i think she no she didn't i was gonna say i think she threw the thing in there but she didn't um i don't think this even has a description because it's a little like travel one I hate buying full perfumes because honestly I never go through them because I have so many so let me pull up on line what the notes are in this because I honestly didn't even check so oh this was $30 by the way and also this I don't think this is new um, but it says embrace your inner goddess with a new solar floral vanilla perfume for women with a long lasting bergamot scent that's probably why i love it a divine twist on the original solar woman's fragrance this warm floral perfume encourages embracing your inner goddess and unveiling new possibilities as you create your extraordinaire awaken your senses to a sparkling freshness of italian bergamot welcome the magnificent power of jasmine from india linger in the decadence of vanilla from madagascar fiercely unveil new possibilities of the new divine as you create the extraordinary with this women's fragrance it is floral earthy and woody the keynotes on this are sparkling bergamot from italy middle magnificent jasmine from indian and ba india and base decadent vanilla from madagascar like i said honestly this is probably my new favorite perfume it just smells insane like it's crazy i'll probably honestly end up buying the big one when I get another 20% off from Ulta but highly recommend that and then next we are getting on to some makeup things so I saw all of these lip liners from LA girl I think they were only like how much were these uh yeah these were $1.90 which I love lip liners um I always am like trying different ones or putting them on the lip liner i'm actually wearing today isn't these it's um, a pat mcgrath one but i got the shade sugar and spice which is actually let's see here let's look oh, such like a pretty pinky nude oh my god i love it uh it's actually really smooth too and then i also got the shade flesh flesh is more of like a um like flesh color like your skin tone but almost better um and that has more of like a peachy undertone i think i actually prefer sugar and spice that first one more and then i just got this one it's called nude it's literally just like concealer lips 
but honestly like I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it I love lip liners like that yeah you can kind of see it I love 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 super super light lip liners because when I'm a little fairer in the winter it's really hard to get like a white out lip and I love like a white out lip look I think it just looks so so good and then the last color I got is cafe let's see let's watch it here yeah, and that's more of like a true brown. So I kind of got like a mix of all of them. So from starting here, Cafe, Nude, um, Sugar and Spice, and then Flesh is right next to it. So I actually really, really like these colors. I think they're really, really nice. Like I said, the one I'm wearing today is the Pat McGrath, and it's in the shade Contour. And I actually think that Cafe kind of resembles it. Oh my God. Is that a dupe for it? <gasps> you guys oh my god so this is the pat mcgrath one in contour and then this one's the la girl they're literally the same freaking color bible same color and for reference i think these pat mcgrath ones are like 20 dollars if i'm not mistaken and the la girl ones are like two dollars so cool love that for me um, next up, I got a tinted brow gel because I've been doing my brows way different lately. Um, today I just kind of did like a quick fill, so I didn't really do them how I've been doing them. But I got it in shade Brunette because it was actually the only um, shade that they had. Uh, I will spend money on brow gels just personally. I like to spend money on brow gels when they're the clear brow gels. When it's like the color brow gels, I really don't care. But when it's a clear one and I really want them to like stay locked in, I usually like the Anastasia one or the Benefit one. But when it's like a tinted one, um, like a cheaper one is fine. I actually really like the e.l.f. one, but I thought I would go ahead and try this one because the wand is just a little bit different. So I don't know if you can see this on camera. But the wand is like fat and then it tapers out and thins out. Um, and I like that it's a little bit bigger because when I'm trying to fill in my brows, like you guys can see, my brows are pretty like big. So I need to like have enough lift to really like pump them up. And yeah, I don't know. I just thought this would be good. Um, this is the shade Brunette. I don't know if I said that. And then the last two things I got, I've actually been wanting these for quite some time okay quite some time um but I went ahead and got the new Anastasia cream bronzer and the new Anastasia cream blush I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but I am wearing the blush in latte from Anastasia and it's the same cream formula which this formula is fire okay it is fire it doesn't lift any of your makeup it goes on so smooth it's not like creamy creamy like the tower 28 ones which i like those but i prefer this formula better because it's not like super creamy and it doesn't feel sticky it just goes on so so well so i got the shade pink dahlia also has a brush which i don't use on my other one so i won't use this one but i got this shade because i've been wanting a pink blush for a while i was using the ilia one for a while and i love that one but kind of like the same thing. It just felt a little bit sticky. So I went ahead and got this one. I swatched it in store and it was stunning. Okay, stunning. Like you'll see. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so pretty. That's what it looks like. It is stunning. And it's actually coming up a little bit more vibrant on camera. But in person, it is just the most gorgeous pink shade. I can't wait to like smother this all over my cheeks tomorrow um but yeah i just thought that i would pick up another one of these because i actually love this formula i also like the packaging it's nice and sleek and it fits good in my makeup bag and then lastly i got the anastasia cream bronzer um i've been using my chanel uh tan de soleil chanel um, and it's actually almost gone at this point. So I needed a new cream bronzer. I was going to just repurchase the Chanel one. And then I was like, you know what? I'm at Ulta. Why isn't this opening? I'm at Ulta. I've been wanting to try the Anastasia one. I really do like the blush. Everything new that's come out from Anastasia, I've really enjoyed. So I thought, why not just go ahead? Sorry, I'm trying to open this. Why not just go ahead and try her cream bronzer? So... 
I picked up the shade Golden Tan. I believe there's five shades in this. I was debating between this one and Amber, and honestly, like, I think either one would have worked for me. Um, but like I said, I was debating between the two, and... Okay, I'm just gonna rip this open. One sec. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. So, I was debating between the two, and I went with Golden Tan, because even though the name says Golden, I felt like it wasn't as orangey as the Amber shade. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, it has, like, more of that golden, sun-kissed, bronze color, but it's not, like, orangey. It just looks really, really beautiful. Um, I love cream bronzers. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I have just been wearing, like, a cream bronzer and a cream blush. I don't have or wear any powder on my skin at all anymore. I don't even set my under eyes with powder when I'm using my concealer. So, that's great. Love that for me. Um, this is what the shade looks like. It's so stunning. I actually felt this in store because, you know, samples are back. But it's so creamy. It is so, so pigmented. Sorry if you can hear that bird. It's literally going nuts. But this is what it looks like. I hope it's focusing. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. It's so creamy. It's so pigmented. It just, I'll do like a one swipe so you can see. Like, are you? It's beautiful. I love it so much. I'm so excited to try it. Um, like I said, I did with the golden tan one because I just felt like it would look better on my skin tone. Um, like I mentioned, they do have a handful of shades. So if you just go online or go in store and swatch them and you're interested, I'm sure you'd be able to figure out like which shade would work for you. But yeah, it's so pretty and so creamy. It is a little bit orangey, but not to like the point to where it's going to make me look like an Oompa Loompa. Also, I'm like extra fair right now because I haven't tanned. I actually got like all my tanner completely off and then I'm going to restart my tanning routine here this week. Um, so I thought that this would look really nice with my like tanner once I have it on. So yeah, that was everything I picked up from Ulta today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was like a little mini haul, but this is probably the most, let me see, how much did I spend? $160. This was the most amount of money I've spent on makeup in a single sitting in probably about a year and a half to two years, which is crazy because I had so much makeup at one point that I was literally drowning in it. Um, so it felt good to kind of just go back and buy some new makeup to try. I'm really excited. Like I said, this con this contour from Pat McGrath in the um, LA Girl in the shade. Look, I literally picked up the Pat McGrath one thinking it was the LA Girl one. The shade Cafe literally are dupes of each other. So I'll make sure I link everything down below for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I post this video. Who freaking knows? Um, we'll see. But if I do post this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I will make sure everything is linked down below with all the good information that you might be looking for. And hopefully I see you guys sooner th rather than later because I miss you all so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. There will be some exciting content coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. Bye, guys.